All right, if you didn't watch live, we didn't get an introduction to the M3 chip this time around, or for that matter, any mention of when we might expect to. But we did get to see some first looks at the M2 Ultra chip coming to some brand new Macs. All in all, four new hardware products were announced, three of which which were Macs. We were introduced to the 15-inch MacBook Air, a new Mac Studio, and as a bit of a shocker, a thought-to-be-dead new and improved Apple Silicon Mac Pro. The announcement of the 15-inch MacBook Air wasn't one bit surprising. Rumors have been swirling for months about this announcement. There's really not a whole lot to talk about here, as it's essentially the same exact specs as a 13-inch MacBook Air and offered in the same four colors. Interesting enough though, there was some movements on the price of the MacBook Airs. This new 15-inch model is going to be launched with a price tag of $1299. The 13-inch version gets dropped down to $1099, while the M1 MacBook Air stays in the lineup at $999, which is a crazy amount of performance for under $1000. The new Mac Studio gets its first big update with the base model being outfitted with an M2 Max chip. And if that isn't quite powerful enough for you, you can also take its performance to an all-time high with the M2 Ultra chip. This thing is an absolute monster. Connecting two M2 Max chips into one, giving you an unparalleled computing experience. The M2 Ultra version comes with a 24-core CPU and can be configured up to a 76-core GPU, 192 gigabytes of unified memory, and up to 8 terabytes of storage, as well as many other amazing specs. The baseline price for the M2 Ultra Max Studio is going to run you four grand, and when you max it all the way out, it'll cost a cool 8,800. And sitting just above that is the new Mac Pro. I was definitely surprised with this announcement as I thought it was all but completely dead in the water and hadn't heard any rumors of it. This is the last of the Mac lineup to receive an M-series chip and it combines the most powerful chip with PCI expansion to tackle the most demanding of workflows. With six open expansion slots you can customize your Mac Pro with your choice of video, audio, and storage cards. It's also available to you in a tower or rack mount option. This thing starts at $7,000, and if you spec it all the way out, you're looking at north of $12,000. Of course, a computer this powerful will probably only be needed for the professional of professionals, but it's still nice to see Apple push the limits of what's possible. And to round out the noteworthy Mac news was the announcements of the brand new Mac OS that we can expect. Mac OS Sonoma. With Sonoma you can expect an even richer set of features to elevate your experience. This year we'll get brand new flyover screensavers of cityscapes and wine vineyards, similar to that of tvOS. Widgets are also coming to Mac OS in a bigger way than what we already have. Now widgets are no longer limited to your notification center. You can now drag and drop them right onto your desktop, making all your important information more obtainable. Now of course, no new iPhones were announced at WWDC, that'll come later this year. 